Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I'm your host, Joe Zamora, and you can find all my stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, under Zamora Gaming. And we are here bringing you the Pokey Dippy podcast. And this week we have a special guest, Stephen Redden, our doubles champion of last year. Hello, how's it going? Hey, Stephen! What's up, Hi. Stephen? Hi. Hi, how are you? He's got a <laughs> fucking sweet accent. Thanks, bro. <laughs> show off, the, show off that accent. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce right. yourself and plug anything you would like. Uh, so my name is Steven. I've been playing uh, competitive Pokemon since uh, Black and White uh, 1. Uh, I, rec- I think I started, yeah, I think it was around 2011. Started out with Rain, played Hyper Offense for such a long time. And then I think I played a good bit during Gen 6 and just stopped completely for a while, then revived my interest in Gen 7. So, uh, I've also been recently playing uh, um, ADB OU, which is a Generation 3 metagame. It's specifically Generation 3 OU, which I've been finding to be like one of the best formats in the game at the moment. So, yeah, uh, I've got none to plug because I'm a, I'm a nobody, so like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we said plug <laughs> your whole life story. Next up, we got more <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, what you want yeah. to do? Like, I'm just myself, right? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Morgan. Uh, I stream and make content under the name Morgan Oko Gaming. Uh, it's M O R G A N O H K O. Check me out on YouTube. I do tie in videos to these. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Next up, we have GS Kamikaze, David. Hey, what's up, PML and everyone else? This is Kamikaze. Uh, you can find me on Facebook pretty much right now, eventually Twitch. Right. That's all. <laughs> Next up, we have seven fucking minutes, Jesse. Hey, seven minutes is more than what I'll need. I'm <laughs> just a casual Pokemon fan and also going to be commentating some of the battles today, so watch out for some hot analysts. All right, and I believe lastly but not leastly, we have... Analyst. Stuart J. Mills. Yo, what's up? How are we going? Analyst. I'm Stu, all the way down here in good old New Zealand. Once again, nice summer's day outside, and I'm here at work, but I'm taking a break to talk to you guys. I don't know why. Here I am. <laughs> well, I know why. We're here to talk about Moltres. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 excited for that shit. Um, by the way, yeah. Moltres, since uh, Steven Redden was our special guest, he chose which Pokemon we would be uh, talking about this week, and he chose Moltres. Fucking idiot. He could have chose Zapdos, sure but he chose Moltres. Best bird. Excuse me, right? Yeah, what kind oh, of shit? Moltres is literally my favorite. Moltres can eat Zapdos' tail oh, no, feathers. Second, right? Moltres is literally the middle dude, right? <laughs> he literally gets no attention, all right? It's actually yeah, everyone knows Zapdos. One. No, it's not. Okay. Well, he is technically the third one. Yeah, he's the third one. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to start talking right now, or are you just going to talk a little shit? Yeah, go for it. Spit some facts. So, uh, well, for me, I'm going to talk about it more so competitively. I think uh, ever since its inception, I think Moltres has been really... Moltres, as I said before, as I said there just a minute ago, has always been kind of like the middle ground bird. Like, it's not as favorable as Zapdos, but it's not as much of an underdog as Articuno. It's all of it's just kind of been there as a Pokemon. Um, like, in even ever since, like, start, like, our RBY meta, which is a thing, by the way, and it's literally the most disgusting metagame I've ever seen in my entire life, which is, it's just T-Wave Chansey and T-Wave Snorlax. Just, that, that, that's the entire metagame. But, like, yeah. ever since its inception, it's, like... You know, it's always been uh, it's always been kind of like a middle ground Pokemon. It never really kind of excelled much. Uh, it, was de- it was like in the right condition. It was always it was it was always going to be like a dangerous Pokemon to deal with. But like it never really kind of got much of um, never really got anything interesting. Uh, over the over the next like couple of years, as the meta games kind of uh, advanced, like in GSE for example, it got like Hidden Power Grass and access to Sunny Day, which like made it like one of the most prominent sun attackers in that metagame. Uh, especially dealing with like common needs like Executor and like uh, Steelix and Fortress. 
uh, and always being like a reliant fire type check as well. Um, yeah, and as well as that, like it's dual typing, which is fire flying, is actually a really good defensive typing. Uh, only uh, hindered by water, rock, and electric, and it has like uh, it, it, act, it serves a good ground immunity, especially this generation, which I'll get to in a second. It, it has a uh, good access to, um, I think, is it, I think so, six or seven resi uh, resistances. I think, I think it's, I think, I think that's it, yeah. But um, and its stats are pretty good too. Like you know, for for a for a fire flying type, it's actually got like pretty decent bulk. Like as it base nine, is it base eighty to 80 defense, 90 defense? It's got base. 90 defense and 85 special defense. Yeah, and like, you know, it's got base 90 HP, I think, as well, coupled mm -hmm. with like 120, the 120 special attack and 90 speed. Like, it's a really 125 solid special attack. 125 special attack, sorry, my apologies. Really good Pokemon. Uh, Damn it, Steven. Sorry, bro. I'm, I'm tripping. Get up, bro. it right, it was your mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It's got, it's got 100 problem, attack, too, which is pretty the solid. The only problem well. I had with Moltres yeah, is the fact that. Stealth Rocks fucked it up so much until this gen. Are you sure? Well, Positive, see, I'm looking at the stats think, now. Well, for me, I think, like, from playing uh, ADV, for example, I think Moltres was in borderline for such a long time because it never really kind of, like, fatigue, like ADV is, like, really dominated with stuff like Tyranitar, Salamence, Aerodactyl, Choice Banded, Aerodactyl, uh, like, DD, uh, DD, uh, Rock Slide, uh, t -tar, like banded salamence and stuff, so it really had a hard time switching into anything. But I think ever since the influx, I think in the last like two years of fighting types, um, it's kind of become more uh, relevant now because of how the influx say stuff like sub Sala carry cross, for example, is like really wrecking the ADV OU meta game can really destroy the game, meta game. Like if it gets the if it gets a chance. Wow, that's that's not me. Yeah. But uh, ever since like it's ever since like uh, what was I saying? So like uh, fighting types, for example, are like getting more and more prominent in ADB. Like with stuff like Machamp and like uh, Heracross. Uh, Hariyama is another one that gets uh, starting to get a lot of um, a lot of attention too because of its utility and uh, being able to um, basically like break down stuff in like uh, in in the way that the meta game is going at the moment. Which is basically just sand chip and knockoff, which is really really good. Um, but Moltres is kind of like seeing the seeing um, action to deal with those thing, deal with those Pokemon. And you know, obviously with Fire Flying, it's a pretty decent uh, as long as he doesn't switch into Rock Slide. But like, it's a pretty good like s s check slash counter to stuff like that. And it's really most of the time, I think Moltres always excels in meta games that have no Stealth Rock. Or a way that it can validate Stealth Rock for, like, like you know, heavy duty boots. For example, this generation, I think that the uh, item was something that it really needed. Like, it, I think it, it, like, it literally shot up in, from like RU last generation. I think, or was it? No, it was like UU last generation. Or no, it was, I think it might have been UU. I think it might have been Gen Seven, and then it just shot straight up to OU because of how. Like, and here's a fun fact: um, Ho -Oh is actually Moltres's gay cousin. Yes. Oh my god. This is confirmed. <laughs> Junichi Masuda actually told me this. He literally, actually, what I was doing, what I was uh, looking for notes, Junichi Masuda actually visited my house and literally said, <laughs> he literally came to my house. He said, Kunchiwa, the ho ho is actually, <laughs> ho, ho is actually, ho ho is actually related to Mothers and he's also gay. Just just as an FYI, but you guys will just slip that in there while you're talking about the podcast later on. And I was like, first of all, I said, how are you getting into my house? Second of all, thanks for the tip. I'll just use it later on, or maybe one of the lads will bring it up later on. Maybe I don't know, but hey, it ain't, I'm glad you brought it up, Joe. It, ain't, it doesn't have the rainbow wing for nothing. It, exactly. It's okay. Bro, exactly. It's okay though that he's he's a gay bird. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Right. No, uh, yeah, it's okay. We just, said, we just said it was a fun fact, not a dumb fact. Come on now. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm just saying. You, just saying. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> but anyways, it's not anyways. gay as long as feathers don't. Why do you even have you? to say that, Joe? Like, come on. It's the rainbow anyways. Pokemon. Come on now. Win for anyways, the game. Anyways, anyways, uh, I think with uh, how good heavy duty boots is, especially this generation, it kind of really gave Moltres like it really gave Moltres the time to shine because especially with like you know you have like a lot of really good attackers in the tier like Kartana and Rillaboom for example that like get invalidated like really like they get really they get pretty much invalidated mostly because Moltres just literally just tanks the shit out of their stuff 
and as well as that on top of it like it has flame body too so it basically punishes like knockoff or like sacred sword if they go for it um especially if they're like choice banded riddle boom or choice banded cartana it really really like it just kind of punishes them a lot um it's really good on stuff like uh i think is it like uh, semi stall balance kind of teams stuff like future side slow slow bro and slow king are like really good at pair um really good duos with it uh, it also gets access to scorch and sands too which is actually really good versus like 1v1s when yeah. you with toxapex because like you can basically just hurricane spam or toxapex until it gets confused and then you just basically like if it's clicking skull just roost and just keep spamming scorching stands and with confusion and, and possible burn damage too you're just basically like taking care of it um yeah and i think motor is really good too in urshifu and urshifu's or should we single strike meta before it got banned uh, on Smogun? Because, you know, you basically just like, if you, it was, you know, the whole point of Urshifu was just to spam Wicked Blow and do as much as it could. Whereas Muldred just came in and just went like, all right, fuck you, bro. Get burned, bitch. And then that's it. <laughs> like, you know, you basically just invalidated the Pokemon. That's what I love about Moltres. Um, but like, you know, even like, even in generation like If you're gonna die, can you mute yourself? Jesus. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> I thought that was you, Joe. I thought that was you. No, I mute myself and I'm making annoying noises. God, what a dick. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Jesus Christ, all the hostility, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. It it gets very, it gets very... Damn, dude, this man is out here literally calling these dudes out, man. Oh, my God. Just wait till he loses, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get really yeah. heated at that point. I turn into yeah, a Yeah, dude, I know, because I'm like, you know, you know, you know, because I've beaten you like multiple times, so I know, when? I know, I know. No, no. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Did you did you just forget about the draft, the bat battle we had in fucking the doubles draft, and you forgetting the one we had in the singles? Did we fight in the singles draft? Last no, time? we didn't. We fought in the doubles draft. Oh, though, not yet, oh. bro. The we doubles? fought not the yet. Doubles draft. You've given literally, up. Literally, bro, in the doubles draft, I literally like. A clap. That, that's that's the sound of me clapping your cheeks, bro. I just went. <laughs> Tarkov, Tarkov just went. All right, bro. Are I'm just gonna about... click eruption and just kill four people on your team. Are you talking about the season you went <laughs> trick room all the way through? Hell yeah. I was in oh the I was in your division, don't... so I didn't play you. <laughs> no, you were. You were. Were you not in? No. Were you not in the division? No. No. I, oh. I remember you having Clefairy. I remember you having Clefairy and nah. trying to use follow me. Mm, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> you I remember. <laughs> maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but doubles is not my strong suit, so I don't really care. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Okay. I can but sense Joe's salt right now. He's he's gonna say it's not there, but I can feel it. I can taste yo, it. Yo, yo, he's like remembering it back, and he's like, "Fuck this man is really, bro. He's literally correct, bro. I can't read." <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but I'm sure you did beat me. Anyways, uh... it's okay, Joe. He's beaten me every time we battled, except for once. So. It's yeah. it's cool. <laughs> He's your Jaden. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like even I, I think back to like to talk about Moltres. I think even in Generation. Oh shit! That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, that's bro. That's all we've been talking about. <laughs> we were talking about a chicken bird for like the last ha like twenty minutes there. You know, I have a lot to talk about Moltres, bro. It's my favorite bird. It's my favorite out of the bird trio, bro. But, uh... You know, he resembles a rubber chicken. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's very popular um, on YouTube with that Asian guy. Oh God! But uh, you haven't seen the yeah. Asian guy on YouTube that does dub ver like uh, covers of songs with the rubber chicken? Yeah, no. I've seen nope. a couple of those. They're really good. <laughs> I feel like that. Like I. Oh my God, that's hurting my ears just thinking about that being a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually has it's people so who dumb, sings man. along with the rubber chicken. It's hilarious. They're so dumb, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like even even in like I don't like it. <laughs> but even like, like back in uh, he's gonna look it up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but like even even back in like I think is it like between like generation four to six or to generation four to seven? I think Moltres has always like had some level of like niche because it's really as i said it's it's resistances are like insane it's typing is good got really good bug really good offense too as well um like it's all like really good um 
it, it was kind of really seen on like stall builds from generation six to seven. Normally, you'd like use it as like a, I mean, what was it again? I think it was like Meta Metagross, Mega Metagross in Gen six was like prominent as hell. So you like bring it in on Mega Metagross and just like basically cripple it with Flame Body plus like. You know, it had access to like defog and like roost and sub. It was really, really irritating. It just like a lot of the time, like Moltres is was always that Pokemon that like if you didn't really prepare for it, or if you were like caught off guard, or if you like were kind of ignorant enough to go up against it, you were always guaranteed to like fuck up and lose to it. Because uh, even like as well when I played uh, uh, GSC, which is like Generation Two meta, like. Um, it has acts. It's like one of the best like fire type attackers, uh, sunny day attackers in the game, because like you could run rest talk with it, and basically like you could be, you could pretty much like muscle pass like most of the prominent steel types and like stuff like Jinx and like Executor, um, and you can like come in on stuff like I think was it Lovely Kiss Needle King. That's a thing, by the way. That's a fucking cool set. That was such a fucking class set. Um, you'd like you'd come in on um, you come in on Lovely Kiss Needle King and just like click rest they click uh, sleep talk and just like either set up sunny day or just hit them with a fire blast and they're just basically like they either get killed or they just they like take heavy damage and like uh i think it like was it it's like two of chaos like was it snorlax after like three layers of spikes which is insane like actually insane if the sun is up to um like it's it's it was all it always had like that niche um but i think just this generation has like really like excelled it to like newer levels because heavy duty boots just like it basically like even validated stealth rock which is just so nice to see because i think stealth rock is one of the most degenerate moves in the game personally <laughs> i think it's the most degenerate fucking moves in the game All because right. like it really yeah like, you know, yeah so, i hate to cut you yeah. off but uh we're gonna talk about uh moltres in anime do you have an anime battle that you like about moltres We've covered the anime competitive part. part. Now let's go yeah. ahead and talk about the anime part. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fuck, man. I haven't seen the anime in like 10 years, dude. <laughs> um, not particularly, you know. I don't think... I don't, I don't. Not that I know of, anyway. I wasn't really a, that much of an anime watcher. So I wouldn't really know. Did anyone do their homework on uh, Moltres in the anime? Because honestly, I didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, the <laughs> only anime that I really remember seeing uh, Cantonian in was that the Pokemon 2000 movie uh, where dude comes yeah, through and catches okay. all the birds yeah. to summon Fair up Lugia. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. That was really the only one I even remember. Yeah, that's in, my favorite those, one too. I remember that one. The <laughs> battle between those three birds was always pretty sick. Because mm. it was kind of fucked up how yeah. they ganged up on Lugia. That, that was some whole shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, fuck. Fuck the you, bro. Lugia's, Lugia's nice. Sometimes you get mad at your dad, and you just you gotta spank him up a little bit. <laughs> I hate you know? your dad. I don't want anything to do with you, bro. <laughs> they like gang up on you. Yeah. Just beat Shout out to my dad. Jeez. Shout out to my dad. If you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening, you never fucking came back, dude. God damn. Well, Morgan didn't go I'm to just therapy. Kidding. <laughs> Dead stuff. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. I ha I have my dad's phone number. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just, <laughs> he comes around at Christmas every now he and also, then. He also doesn't he smoke gives crack. Me, uh, he gives me yeah. uh, toenail clippings. Yeah. For nah, bro, that's a lie. I've already oh, I've hit up Morgan's dad for crack. I've hit up Morgan's dad for crack, don't worry. Uh, that's a complete, absolute lie, bro. You've called my dad for crack? Yeah, dude, of <laughs> from course I did. I, else would I from from fucking else? Ireland? Well, what Morgan, kind of yeah. international Morgan, operation is my father running? Well, dude, if he supplies dude, you dude. with crack, Morgan, he can supply Who you with crack. Who else would I call for crack, bro? Hey, I don't know, dude. I don't know what kind of international <laughs> exactly, operation exactly. my dad is running here, but I'm not seeing the benefits from it. So well, I'm, I'm, sorry to, money I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to air I'm sorry to air out all the dirty laundry here on this podcast, bro. Sorry, bro. His name is Brian. Brian, the crack dealer. That's is that really, really what we're saying here? That does not that sound like a crack dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. Can we, can we Brian, the crack dealer. Brian. He lives, Brian. In, he lives in Georgia. He lives in Give Georgia. Me my money. He's mailing Give me my crack. Money. He's Honestly. mailing crack overseas. Honestly, if a, like, a guy named Brian came up to me and was like, hey, you want some crack? I'd be like, you're a narc. <laughs> yeah. Be like, nah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> You're a narc. Nah, fuck that shit. Brian? <laughs> Brian. Maybe, maybe, if you were, maybe if you were a white dude named Aiden. And 
maybe you tell crack, but his last Ryan? name, his last name is Higginbotham. Think about that for a second. Think about that. <laughs> that's not a, that's not a crack dealer, Stephen. You're telling lies on the podcast. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, look. God uh, damn. You bro, I just like, you I yo, yo, crack, yo, what's up, Higgy? I done cracked the fucking case. I just cracked the case. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, nah, you, that's, the, that's the dude who's been selling uh, crack uh, international, Mr. Higgs. Mr. Higgs. <laughs> no, it's Higgs. Mr. Higgs. International. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide International Higgs out here selling fucking crack cocaine to fucking random people. <laughs> <laughs> Dad Specifically going, in Ireland. Ireland. Dad's going, say my name. Mr. Higgs. <laughs> I will break your kneecaps. <laughs> I hope he I hope he's not listening. Alright, so uh He'll text me. <laughs> Why the fuck are they talking my business? They, that Why would he text air. you right now though? Hey I get a call right now. Um, yeah, Mr. Higgs, what's up? Yeah, I'll shut it down. One second. <laughs> I'll shut it down, bro. I got it, bro. I got you, bro. I'll shut it down right now. Yo, Morgan, your dad right. told you not to come home tonight. <laughs> I'm with my dad. God damn. It hurt my feelings now. All right, carry on. The joke is dead. God damn it. Morgan right, is a made man. He does not live at home with his parents. I don't live with my dad anymore. Yeah, screw I you, dad. My... It's been a whole two yeah, months. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh hope your dad god. doesn't listen to this. That'd be fucked up. Oh my god. Yeah. He's a crack dealer. He's a bad dad. <laughs> international crack dealer. And he kept. He kept yeah, international. Name Mr. Man, you're gonna get me. You're gonna get us busted. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna email Joe and be like, alright. The fuck At the end of the on. podcast, Morgan's gonna be like, "Dad, I'm sorry. I was just joking, man." <laughs> this entire thing was just a honey pot from the start. He's gonna be like, um, "Whenever this thing comes out, don't take it seriously." <laughs> However, though, I probably—I mean, if enough people listen to this, I probably could start some kind of international drug ring now, so we could get something going. If you guys want to talk details after the show, let me know. <laughs> uh, all you gotta do is email, all profits uh, go toward. It- <laughs> All you gotta do is email n o r e c l y dot com. No reply. No reply. Dot crack. <laughs> no reply. No, I, I literally just said no reply. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you? All right. We gotta move on. We've been talking crack for fifteen yeah, well, minutes. Yeah, let's we, let's we, let's we, carry we on. Talk about Moltres. Yeah, I want to beat I'll someone's ass Moltres. real quick. <laughs> Let me battle Joe again. Right, does no one have uh, any more fun facts they'd like to talk about Moltres? The only other thing about uh, Moltres in the anime is the fact that his flame was used for the torch in the Indigo League. That is oh, I didn't know that. right. I forgot about that. I didn't even know that. And other than that, his influence in the uh, anime has been minimum. And he engulfs Team Rocket in flames and makes them leave. The indigo plateau. Actually, I do have a I do have a manga fact about um, Ultras though. Yeah, Apparently, go. in 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 I think is it the boss fight in Silfco when Red, Green, and Blue are fighting against the um, oh. Rocket. Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos mold together. Yeah, that's so sweet. They've morphed together, and they're like they've three heads, and it's the coolest battle I've ever seen in my life. Where Bro. the fuck is that? It's, it's yeah. a Pokemon Adventures manga. Please read the Pokemon Adventures manga. I haven't. Oh, yeah. so, I haven't gotten that far. So oh, shit. good, dude. It's I need... so <laughs> good, dude. That's going to get me to they go back to reading that to manga. Joe, 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 I love the Pokemon Adventures manga. It's literally the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I just it's don't so like... I, y'all might be surprised by this, but I just do not like to read. So I read like the yeah, first we can three tell, books. Yeah. It's because <laughs> he can't. It's because he can't read. <laughs> Because he's dumb yeah. as dog hey, shit. Hey, 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 hey. I read on a third grade level. Alright, leave me alone. Look, manga's yeah, just yeah. better than glorified pictures. You should be okay. Stop yeah, the, but me. the, um, the, I think it was the, yeah, it's, it's the three birds melt together as one. And I think, uh, I think it was, it, who was it that had Moltres? I think it might have been Sabrina that had it, or was it Koga that had Moltres? I can't remember. Yeah, one of them. It was... Them, I think Lieutenant Surge had Zapdos. Yeah, of course, obviously he had Zapdos. I don't know. I'm looking at this picture, of this thing, and it's looking pretty fucking stupid. 
It looks it's got, oh, it, it's pretty cool. It's, dude. Got, it's pretty bad. Dude, it's they got made six Morgan legs. So much better looking. It's got six fucking legs. It's three what birds it? combined together, Morgan. What the fuck do you expect? It's just, there's it's no, just there's a, no it's creativity. Just scarier than you. It's scarier it looks like a Neapolitan, a Neapolitan bird. It's fucking a Neapolitan dodrio. It's pretty cool. Oh, you're what right. It is. You're right. Okay. 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 Like, who, who, <laughs> like, who cares about the logistics of it? That was fucking cool. All right, it's pretty rad. Hey, for, right? yeah, for the nineties, it, it was cool. Pretty rad. You never seen shit like that in the nineties. I 90s. like it. The closest you got to that was like uh, what Transformers. Kevin like, Bacon. For me, like, like Transformers. Like for me, seeing, uh, <laughs> seeing, like, especially like from playing the games, and like not really watching much of the anime, the manga, like, really, like, just blew all my expectations out of the water for Pokemon. Because like there's some really cool shit in there. Like, did he just really fucking cool cut an Arbok? Yes, he did. Did this man? Did this? Did 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 dead Pokemon just rise from the graves and start attacking a cha- a, a trainer? Don't That's ruin fucking it. Badass. Sorry, bro. I just had no. Bro, it's been out <laughs> for twenty years. Get the fuck over yourself. <laughs> no, oh, don't tell me. <laughs> but I haven't read it all. It's not fair to me. Oh, don't don't worry, the Harry bro, Potter you... and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm almost third at the end. grade reading level. Did <laughs> you right. not hear him? You know what? Um, I think it's this taken him 20 last... years to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just bought it last reading, year, like... and I've only read the first two books, and I got bored. All right, leave me alone. <laughs> I do oh, not like gosh. reading at all. It's boring. All right, here we go. Everyone, if I have no more fun facts to say about Moltres, let's go ahead and move on to the team builder. Other than it's the second worst bird. It's not, actually. It's the worst bird. It's actually actually not. Better than Moltres. That's not true at all. Moltres is better than all three of of them. them. You heard that? All three of them. All three of them. Oh my god. <laughs> all three of them. Tree fitty. Oh, let's all make fun of Joe's accent. Yeah, around here in these parts. Got all <laughs> them boys drinking beer. I got an accent? Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking Texan ass fucking, hillbilly motherfucker. Fucking, fucking. I shoot fucking people oh, for a living. Don't put ass. in the Long Island. <laughs> oh, really shit. Quick. This is the first oh, time shit. I've ever been told I have a Texan accent. So, he does not have a cool. fake Fucking, we don't like your kind of bound around here in Tennessee. I'm about to go ahead and shoot you, boy, if you don't get out of these parts. Oh, no, Tennessee that's like saying, Morgan. That's like me saying, I don't know. Like we, don't, we don't shoot people here. We're not the we're not the gun state, so no, I don't know. What's sell crack to the no, that's the, that's the crack fun. state. We do not sell crack in Tennessee, you fucking idiots. We're, we're the... We're, we're the we're the fucking capital of country music, not crack. That's that's Kentucky or fucking somewhere else. Not goddamn Tennessee, so suck a dick. Where are you from? You're from fucking Ohio. What do they even have in Ohio, David? Buckeye. What do they even have in Ohio, David? Corn. Do you like corn, corn, you shit fuck? <laughs> fuck you and your corn, motherfucker. All I wanted to do was talk about my favorite bird, and I'm here talking about crack, Ohio, and Texans, and fucking guns and shit. What the fuck did you guys roll me into at all? Have you ever listened to the podcast? Like, what are you even Yes, doing? I have. Have you even have. listened to it? Yeah, I have. Well, you should have known. You should have known. <laughs> he clearly listened to the podcast because he called you out as a crack person. As soon as we I don't. God damn it! All right, <laughs> fine, fine. I sell crack. All right, we're selling crack now. Right, Sydney, right, we're right. selling crack now. All right, all right. Crack. Here we go. We're moving on to team building. <laughs> all right, Stephen. Thank you for all those fun facts about Moltres. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with Jesse talking about his Moltres team. All right. So for my Moltres team, I went with Moltres. Never would have guessed it. Uh, nicknamed Not Ho Ho. Uh, it ran Heavy <laughs> Boots and Flame Body. And I made it more utility based to help get some of my other people going because I didn't have a lot of fast people. So it had Flame Turn, a Flamethrower, U Turn, Defog, and Tailwind. Uh, my next one was Cliffable, nicknamed Night, uh, Nightmare. It has a Magic Guard Life Orb with Moonblast, Calm Mind, Moonlight, and Thunderbolt. Just for those nasty Moltreses. Uh, my third one was Soul King, which was nicknamed Amnesia. Uh, it had Leftovers and Regenerator. Uh, it was just basically one of the checks, uh, a good check for Moltres and other ones. So it had Teleport, Scald, Slack Off, and Toxic. 
Uh, fourth one was my mammoth swine, and boy, he thick. Uh, he had a weakness <laughs> policy and thick fat, and I made him a little bit of an attacker, but also a little utility. So he had stealth rock, but he also had ice shard, earthquake, and stone edge. And then I had Weavile, uh, which was nicknamed Cold Blooded. Uh, Cold had, a, had focus sash on it and the pickpocket to see if I could grab an item later on just to kind of annoy my opponent if I could. I had fake out, triple axle, knockoff, and taunts. Um, and then my last one was Haxorus, which was nicknamed Godzilla. Uh, this was my main, like, main source of damage. Uh, it's a choice band mold breaker, and it has close combat, first impression, dragon claw, and rock slide. So I'm looking to do a lot of damage with it, and maybe even demax it if the situation calls for it. So it's a little weird because especially with our team having Moltres that I've run two ice types, but one of them's kind of hopefully going to be used for bait, and the other one is just there to have a little speed, maybe annoy people if so be it, or to stop any uh, people from getting set up. So so that is my team. That's funny. You should have named... Uh, I mean, you had Mamosine with a good name. You should have gave it Oblivious, though. Fluff the, fluff the ability. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Obviously, it wouldn't have helped you in the battle, but, you know, it would have been funny. All right, next Yo, up, shit. we have David. All right, for my Moltres team, I have Moltres. Yes, 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 I know. It's Moltres. It's Pollo Loco, crazy chicken with heavy-duty boots and flame body. Mine has Agility, Scorching Sands, Flamethrower, and Air Slash. Um, max special attack and a lot of uh, HP just to see if I could set up an Agility and start doing a bunch of dent dents and... Okos and bullshit like that, but don't know how that's gonna work. It kind of it was kind of a last-second decision. And then I have Mega Garchomp with Sand Force, Earthquake, Sa Swords Dance, Scale Shot, and Substitute. It's nicknamed Goon Squad because I actually uh, I'm a part of the group called Goon Squad, and we always got a shout out to Goon Squad, so. Got max speed, 420 attack because 420. <laughs> and five HP. Then we have the Ferrothorn named Miso Thorny. It's uh, max defense <laughs> and HP with the Rocky Helmet and Iron Barbs. Gyro Ball, Stealth Rock, Toxic, and Leech Seed just to be a really annoying wall. So that's my physical wall, and then I have my special wall, is uh, Galarian Sloking with the Assault Vest and Regenerator, so I can get like a, a nice little HP boost every time I switch it out. It's got Flamethrower, Scald, Ice Beam, and Future Sight. I kind of fucked up, I shouldn't have put Ice Beam, I should have put Sludge Wave, but I kind of was afraid of like Landorus. But I forgot we couldn't use Landers, but there was also Garchomp, which has been very prevalent in these episodes, so I figured I should use Ice Ice Beam. It's got max HP and special attack. Uh, it does dense, it forces in dark Pokemon, it's pretty nice. Then we have Godzilla, Tyranitar, with the weakness policy. It's got Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Crunch. Max speed and about 148 attack and 108 HP just to try to live that super effective move off the bat and get that weakness policy and a dragon dance. Hopefully it works. It'd be a pretty cool sweeper if it if I could max it. <clears throat> then I have Primarina, Six O Joe. Got to bring Six O Joe to every week now. <laughs> it's got leftovers and liquid voice ability. Substitute draining kiss, hyper voice, and calm mind. Um, max HP. Ma it's almost max defense. And it's got a little bit of special defense just to be kind of bulky and be able to set up. So I have the Fairy Dragon Steel Core and I have the Water Fire Grass Core mixed in. So it should be... I don't have any repeating types. There's 12 unique types on this team. So I think defensively it could be a pretty strong team. So we'll see how it does. Alrighty. And did 
Did I do my team already? No, I didn't. All right, next up we have Stuart. All right, so I started off with uh, Moltres, of course. Um, his name was Cleetorus. And <laughs> I was also running Heavy Duty Boots, um, Flame Body ability to maybe snag some burn. I went with Mystical Fire to try and lower some special attack. Scorching Sands, once again, for the burn. Defog, even though I probably will never defog. And Roost to stay healthy. I went with a real bulky Moltres. I went with um, max HP, quite a lot of defense, and a little bit of speed, but not much. And Bold Nature. Uh, then I went for uh, Bruce DeCock, the Obstagoon. Uh, Guts Flame Orb set, Facade Knockoff, Close Combat. And I was debating on Parting Shot or Switcheroo, and I went with Switcheroo, uh, just if I feel like throwing the Flame Orb at someone. Uh, I also ran a Mammoth Swine, I need a Handjob, um, <laughs> Expert Belt, Thick Fat, Earthquake, Ice Shard, Ice Cool Crash, Stone Edge, hopefully catch an unsuspecting Moltres with the Stone Edge, that'll be great. Uh, Adamant Nature, because I felt like that extra damage would be fantastic. Uh, my Lycan Rock this week was Eaten Beaver, Lycan Rock Dusk, Life Orb, Tough Claws, the Cellar Rock, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Play Rough. It's going to own some shit. I know I feel good about it. Um, my Mega this week was Mega Gyarados, Sticks and Butts. I didn't want to bring Swamp it two weeks in a row, so I was like, oh, well, I'm going to change it up to a different water type. Uh, Dragon Dance, Crunch, Earthquake, Waterfall. Um, you know, the Flying type is handy at the start before I Mega Revolve anyway, should be able to get off a Dragon Dance at least once. I ran Adam and Nature because after the DD, it would be quite fast anyway. And, yeah, you know, my final mod was also Galarian Slow King. I ran almost the exact same set. I ran Assault Best Regenerator, Future Sight, Flamethrower, Scald, and I ran Sludge Bomb as my fourth move with... Uh, Quite a bit of special defense, max HP, and a little bit of special attack just to surprise some people with some extra damage. Oh, shit. GG. Oh, shit. All right, well, it's Buster my... Cherry. Huh? And his name was Buster Cherry. Buster Cherry. Oh. All right, well, I, my <laughs> nicknames aren't as clever, but I'm going to go ahead and start off with my team. Of course, it's Pink Thing Moltres. It was supposed to be shiny, but uh, I didn't shiny it, so... It, the nickname makes no sense now but it's pink thing with heavy duty boots flame body and then i ran uh three attacking moves with roost so air slash fire blast scorching sands and roost max special attack max speed with four special defense then i have i'm thirsty the gastrodon with leftovers and storm drain along with surf earth power ice beam and protect and then it's a uh, 252 HP, 100 special, and 156 deep special defense. So hopefully it can take some good moves there. Next, we have Super Horny, our Ferrothorn, with Rocky Helmet and Iron Barbs. We want to get those stealth rocks up, explosion if we need to, body press with our defense, and leech seed to get some uh, healing back on us. Then we have 4 HP, 252 attack, and 252 defense. Then I have What Am I, the Aerodactyl, with Rockhead and the Aerodactylite. Rock Slide, Roost, Dual Wing Beat for that massive damage, Earthquake for coverage, and then 252 attack, 252 speed, and 4 special defense. Next, we have Light of Your Life, the Volbeat. Through every, hopefully to throw everyone off. It is Focus Sashed with Illuminate. Or it should have been Prankster. But I guess I didn't do that right either. Oh well. I'll probably fix it before the battle. Then <laughs> it has Thunder Wave, Seismic Toss, Encore, and Sunny Day. With 252 HP, 252 defense. So we should be able to live anything. And then lastly but not leastly. We have what steroids? Incineroar. With Darkenium Z and Intimidates. And then the moves it has is Knock Off, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Close Combat with 252 HP, 252 Attack to be a little more on the defensive side. But that's it for my Moltres team. Nice, nice. Nice. And lastly but not least, Steven Redden is going to talk about his team. 
So uh, my team, let me just get it up here in one second. Uh, so I decided to just go with uh, a really tanky core. Um, not much thought, like I normally play like defensive anyway, so I just kind of went with uh, really tanky shit like Clef, Pex, Blissey and uh, Hip Powder. And then I kind of, well I didn't really kind of go defensive on Clef, I just went full offense with it. Because I, cause I actually like offensive Clefable and I ran Bandit Cinderace with uh, Heavy Duty Boots, uh, Moltres of course, because you know, I had to use Moltres. Um, yeah, it's just standard uh, defensive cores and I just wanted to play around with Cinderace and Moltres too. That's pretty much my team. All right, and now that we talked about our teams, let's put them to use. Jesse, go ahead and let us know what the teams are. Morgan's team, he's got Moltres, Tyranitar, Gastrodon, Gudra, Mimikyu, and uh, Greninja. Stuart has Obstagon, Mammoth Swine, Moltres, Lycanroc, Gyarados, and Galarian Slowking. Real quick, uh, you said Obstagon, and you're part of the Goon Squad, and you didn't say the name. Yeah, what the fuck, Jesse? had a little flair to it. Goon <laughs> 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 Squad! <laughs> It's oh, Goon squad. squad? What the it's fuck, the Jesse? On, squad! It's the Goon Squad now. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> don't you ever disrespect the Goon Squad. The Goon Squad will always be the best. Hey, Jesse Sorry. disrespected y'all's own squad, so... Goon Squad! What's the best Goon thing, Goon squad. squad? I don't know what to lead. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Take Give me a second. Yeah, that He's was doing calcs. Time. He's doing calcs. He's doing calcs. <laughs> I don't oh, even know how to do that. <laughs> Guys, it's getting hot in here. It's getting real sweaty. Guys. What? Sweaty uh, time. Somebody's gonna leave. Man, that, that Gujar sweating mm. like a motherfucker. You see that shit? He yeah, dripping. We'll he oh, he dripped. Okay, here we go. Stuart starts off with his Lycan Rock eating beaver. And Morgan <laughs> has nin Ninja Chomp. Ninja Chomp. Ninja, ninja Chomp. Chomp. Oh, yeah. Don't be ninjing. <laughs> unless you be ninjing. Eating beaver. We're gonna watch from Morgan. Oh, side. and he switches out to Slow King Galarian and eat the <laughs> Hydro Pump, which only takes about a quarter of health. Buster Cherry. <laughs> yep, Galarian, the Slow what King Galarian, is, Buster Cherry. What typing is the new one? Uh, it's, poison. Oh, Poison Psychic. Okay. You can look over it. It's kind of... okay. I did. I don't use Showdown often. Okay. Dick. Dick. Sorry, dick. I'm dick. Dick. <laughs> dick. <laughs> We're busting his cherry on Showdown. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Stop falling already. Mm. <laughs> oh, and he switches <laughs> off to Gastrodon, Maxi Pad, and. Slow King. Slow King. Yeah, up it's because of Storm Drain. <sighs> god damn it. That's a great nickname. <laughs> yeah. And he absorbs electricity. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the podcast, is a nickname. <laughs> Jesse said don't nickname. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You know what? I'm not saying nicknames just to spite him. Okay, no, and he brings, don't do that. brings up Obstagoon, which is Bruce. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and say the nickname. I'm going to mess it up. Bruce DeCock. Ah, uh, okay. Very good. Bruce DeCock. Bruce DeCock. It was all spelled wrong. <laughs> Bruce DeCock. <Cock. laughs> And uh, Maxi Pad used Earthquake, which took a quarter of health. And we've got ourselves a Guts Obstagoon. And it, <laughs> Morgan brings in, I got the Rock Tyranitar. Who's... <laughs> He's got the Rock. He actually takes the Future Sight, which has no effect. And Switcheroo doesn't work on Tyranitar. I wonder why. Oh, Mega Tita. It's dark. He's so poopy. <laughs> Fuck! I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hold on. I need. I need. I need a, minute. I need a second. <laughs> okay, we're putting the timer on. Suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's counting. Have you, have you ever? Counting. Have you ever? Have you ever sucked balls, Jesse? Because you talk a lot I of just shit. Seems like the, you might uh, have sucked a few balls. I don't want to let the crowd you, know. How does that correlate at all? I just want to let the crowd know. More than just sad because like, you're right. What the fuck am I like? No, I was confused. Like, that didn't even make any sense. You suck balls. Yo, what is my Morgan said he was playing for fun. 
<laughs> oh, and he, Morgan oh. switches to Gastrodon and takes a close combat. More like brings it down dank. to a little over half. Bro, what, why that? would okay. you give Gastrodon? Okay, why Morgan. You, why would you give Gastrodon that nickname, bro? He, he, why would you do that? Because it's the why best nickname I could come oh, up with. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, oh and it was the best. Ooh, oh. Gastrodon hits a knockoff and That's knocks what you get out for Gastrodon. That. Morgan could That's what you get for calling it that. Like you are disgusting. You a lot of balls. That would have been oh. better. And he brings in Greninja to response, and it looks like that maxi pad's gonna need to get changed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I came on to oh. talk about Who the to and, and takes a hydro and pump. God. My... <laughs> but, yo, oh, does really it get regenerator? Chunky, yeah. chunky that God. That yes, chunky it does God. have regenerator. <laughs> chunky God. <laughs> Hmm. And he's gonna bust her cherry. The chunky he god. sure is gonna bust her cherry. That's the slow king. He's gonna bust his cherry because that Greninja is water. That boy bro, it. look at my man's slow king <laughs> plotting <laughs> right now, bro. He's plotting right now. Mm. Look at my man's plot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right and he now. brings in Mimikyu, who's called man, Nut Rag. You are, you are literally disgusting, bro. I, I think you need to go <laughs> and to the doctor. And he eats the skull and the skies down. Bro, you need to go see someone, bro. You need to go see someone, bro. There's something wrong with this man. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with me. We also want to let everyone know that this is a family-friendly battle. So all the minions have been approved. At least Stewart has some cool <laughs> nicknames, like Buster Cherry sounds dank, but this man has butt rag out here. He's a sock. He's a sock, Steve. Get a sense of humor. Get a yeah, sense of humor. Good. See, I think, I think it's, I think it's, I, I think it's fitting. No, 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 no. I think, I think it's fitting. Sorry you like Disney humor. This is not think, the show think, you came to. No, no, no. I, th I think it's fitting, though. I think it's fitting, because, like... No, I think I think it's fitting because like this is just an accurate representation of oh, Morgan's and he socks switched, right now. Stuart switches out to Moltres, which is called <laughs> clean. clean. It's only a nut rag when it's they are their fuck. Minikyu uses stiff. sword dance they and then her fuck I don't think it's a nut rag anymore. Dude, Dude Taurus is gonna hit the nut so rag, heavy. bro. He's literally heavy he's right now Taurus. because of all the nut in it. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, I like he's extra know, heavy. If you live in the DFW Ugh. area, uh, I don't know what to do. You, I don't know anything about Moltres. Is Moltres bulky? Moltres is probably. Oh, yes, man, I'm not gonna ghost you. Man, I wonder if Steven maybe said something about it earlier <laughs> on. <laughs> he said it was he pretty only bulky. Said <laughs> static it had. Dude, I literally uh, gave you out the knowledge. Uh, That's your own I fault. I know. I was. Go I was ahead, trying, attack I it. Know. I dare you to do it. Do it. Yeah. Uh, like do it. Chill, look at my man's mimicude right now, bro. Do it. You know what? Do it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I don't know. Uh, that nut rag is sleepy. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah, ghost no, you, bro. It's your own game, bro. Fucking, fucking, uh, Stuart hasn't said shit the whole time. He's yeah, he's probably working. working. <clears throat> yeah. He's just beating your ass without <laughs> trying. Said, yeah. Yo, this man's about to beat your ass and work a full time oh, and job. And he's a shadow claw, and oh, he gets burned <laughs> by flame body. Uh, and a scorching sand takes a good chunk out. He's down to, to about enough, half. You had a sixty percent chance of literally getting burned there. So, yeah, what? How does that work? Because scorching sand is thirty percent. Oh, hold on. His name is Clee Taurus. No, oh, did anybody say that? God. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, well, it's the first time he's ever seen one. All right, I hope she reads you. I hope she reads you. I have, a, I have a kid, you fucking idiot. Alright, kids, that reminds me. <laughs> don't do crap. You don't have to find the Klee Taurus to have a kid, dude. Just saying. <laughs> You're right. You're right. He was he was born of <laughs> anal ovaries. It's called someone else with your dad. <laughs> what? What? Damn. <laughs> oh my god, this man is being put on blast right now. Oh, and he switches, Stuart switches to Gyarados, oh. and Shadow Claw takes it down to That's about 60%. Good, the switch. good damage. I bet he was predicting the switch. And the Gyarados is called Dixon. Well, I mean, he's already fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Dixon Butts. Dixon Butts. Oh my god, you guys are so gay. And he switches back to Slow, uh, slow King Galarian. Oh, 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 oh. He crit me. Oh. 
Bro, you got hey, Mimic you was putting in. Nutrag just busted Nut that rag. Nut rag. Nut rag. Call him by his name. Nutrag just busted that cherry right there. Oh, Mimic you just tossed. tied up Slow the floor. And Dixon is back in, in the Gyarados. Game, Fun fact, I'm the only one who's been 6-0'd on this podcast. Incorrect. Who did you get 6-0'd by, Joe? And Mimic you uses a Shadow Claw. And Dixon is getting set up. And with the burn, <laughs> Mimikyu is down. Mm. I can't believe that crit is the worst luck. Oh my yeah, god, I don't want to know so what Gudra is. Oh, Gudra's coming in, lift up my tail. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go see, man. You need to be put on a watch list, bro. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> a watch list? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Steven's all like, you know what? Once a month is a little too much for me. I'll just let you know when I want to come back. <laughs> Maybe 2022 when Morgan's not doing Yo. the stream anymore. Yo. Yo, my man Scott fucking is out here, bro. <laughs> oh, and Mega, the Gyarados cool. Mega Evolves, and Morgan Dynamax up Gudra. He goes so down to about half. And he's got that goo, and he uses oh. Max Lightning, and a Gyarados oh, is out. F. Holy shit! Oh, snap. What? He used a Lightning Attack on a Gyarados. Granted, it wasn't the regular one, but still, it was like less than half. Lift up my yeah, dude, it's a, it's a Max for... Lightning, bro. It's a Max Lightning. This shit's gonna... Max going, Lightning! Like, Max Lightning! What, what was your thought process behind this name? Well, it's his butthole if you lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, what do you mean? God bless. I'm a simple God guy. Bless. I'm a simple guy. God bless. <laughs> I have to. I have an this expectation at this point <laughs> that I have to meet when I come to these battles with the nicknames. Like, come on. Alright, Steven says uh, to repent against your sins, you have to say... Oh, and Mammoth Swine is in, and <laughs> it's called a Nita handjob. Damn. And it Dynamaxes, really good too. and no. it uses a Max Hailstorm, and Gooch's out. That's, that's a Bostonian Mammoth Swine. I need a handjob. I need a handjob. <laughs> <laughs> And Morgan is in a pickle right now. He's down to three mons, and his uh, uh, D-Max mon is already done for. How could he be in a pickle? He's not actually in a pickle, bro. More like a, more like a, more like Dude, a cucumber, he, if anything. He, he could be in a pickle. If you stick in it, if he's in the cucumber for long enough, it'll eventually yeah. become a pickle. I'm scared. Science. <laughs> I wonder... What the fuck Who's, was that? Whose family you is screaming? Who said science? <laughs> what was my, that? My wife is watching Fuck. Saturday Night Live right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> More like Saturday Night Live. Damn, Steven, is it that funny? I need to turn it on. If it is. Is that what that is? I don't know. <laughs> like Saturday Night Live? Yeah, one of her favorite actors is on there. What is it? I don't know. Who is it? It didn't sound like um, a laugh. Oh, we got Miltris. Oh, we got the dick and chicken too. We back. <laughs> He brings in Moltres. <laughs> uh, it's the guy who played Jim from The Office. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Jim? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. God damn. Should've run Sash. Oh, and Max Ruffall yeah. takes out Dick and Chicken. Damn. And... Yeah, that's GG's. Uh, that sucks. You got tossed like a salad. Red like and a he book. brings in his ninja chap, which is Greninja. Played like a book, read like a fiddle. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's John Kranowski, okay. I had a blink on his name. Krasinski. Krasinski. Oh my He's a God. Boston boy. No one cares. Oh, I don't care. I got, and I quote, <laughs> tossed like a salad. Tossed on your <laughs> neck, bro. Like you a salad. Kicked in you your said, chest. You said like a. My nicknames were good though, so that's all that matters. Oh, and, oh, oh, okay. oh. Based, based, based. Z based. power. 
bass. Oh, oh my god. god. Hey, oh. It did the no, whole dude. thing. Yeah, dude, did we ban wow. Z-Moves? Did we ban Z-Moves? No. Nobody no, no, fucking didn't. told me we banned Z-Moves. No, we didn't. And we just introduced Dynamax this week, so. And I forgot about Z moves every other week, so I'm entitled Wait, to a Z moves. You Z moves? <laughs> oh. Hold up a second. Nah, nah, oh, nah, nah. Calm down. <laughs> Steven's like, hold on one second. Can you pause the podcast? Really I literally said there. that before we started the stream. It's jokes, jokes, it's jokes. All right. I'm not. I don't well, even I, know your team, so I don't know if it benefits. I lose you. then. I lose then. That sucks. <clears throat> How do you lose? <coughs> Bro, it's your ninja. Oh, and Austin <coughs> comes in. Don't die on podcast. Oh, and <coughs> we got a hydro pump. Is Greninja pulling it back? It's tied 2-2. Two, two. Oh my god. Is he uncircumcised? <laughs> it's <laughs> looking grim god? for Stew Dog. He's Jeez. only got Lycan Rock <laughs> and Moltres left, which both have unfavorable matchups. <laughs> and out come to Moltres. He's down to about a third of his health right now, Here so. T Taurus. T Taurus. T Taurus. T Taurus out here. Oh, and another Hydro Pump takes oh. it out. I don't know how I it's hitting in Oh my god, is Morgan gonna beat Stuart? Are you gonna beat Miss, Stuart? Oh shit. Miss a fucking Hydro Pump, though. I mean, Miss a Hydro Pump. Lycan Rocks in Eaton Beaver. Oh, god. He has to miss so a hydro pump, this? Hey, if he misses this, you do have like, it's still doable. He hasn't missed a hydro pump, and it's in sandstorm. You do have a special defense boost, so you could potentially live this hit. No, he's not living this hit at all. I, I ain't living shit. <laughs> bro, that's a Greninja, bro. Oh, 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 Which comes down to the yeah, last Lycan move. Lycan Rock versus I Got That Rock. Tyrannitar. <laughs> Mega Tita. Mega Tita. Oh, yeah. It's Mega Tita. Can I Oko a Mega Tita? Oh, damn. Post Bombat. Oh, oh, oh damn. Ow, what a match. No, dude. That's a good. tough class life bar, bro. That's, that's good, dying, dude. What are you good game, about? Stuart. That was a phenomenal the, game. What's the game? Good game, dude. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit, bros. GG's. Alright, Dylan. I mean, Dave. Ah, Alright, right, David. All right, David. Oh, hell it? yeah. It's your turn to battle Steven. That was actually a really good All game, right. you guys. Really good. Yeah. Right, finally, good game, Stu. Finally more good game, Stu. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> good luck. Have fun, Steven. Let's go. No offense, this Let's is better than the Gengar ones. Okay, right, so. Go ahead and let Jesse commentate on this one. So, for Steven's team, he's got a awful team. He's got Blissey, Hippowdon, <laughs> <laughs> Moltres, Cinderace, Toxapex, and Clefable. Uh, David, his team consists of Moltres, Garchomp, Ferrothorn, Slowking Galar, Tyranitar, and Primarina. Let's no, get it started. Karina, okay, base pick. Fight David at this point. <laughs> huh? Oh my god. I'd rather fight David, so David wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot of bulk. Yo. That team's disgusting. I thought we banned Toxapix. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes Illuminati. Uh, the Galarian Slow King versus Cinderace Click X. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Doubt? No, but it's like, if you... Oh, and David brings in Godzilla, his Tyranitar. Godzilla. And Steven uses oh U turn, God! and that just devastates. But he's got a weakness policy. Can he make anything of it? Will he no. even be able to live it? Probably not. No, he cannot. Let's uh, see the prediction. I, the I got a Mon. Switch. I think he's gonna bring, and I want to see if I'm right. No, but I was wrong. So he brings in his Hippowodon, Mr. Venus. <laughs> Mr. Venus. The Venus. And he uses Binus. an Ice Punch. It takes three quarters, but that's just not enough. Hippowodon uses Earthquake, and Titar is down. 
And David brings in Garchomp, Papa Capinu. Papa the Capinu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, these names are not exactly what they say, so I have to say them out loud. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't understand the Klee. Oh, and he mega evolves his Garchomp and uses a scale shot, but... Ooh! Ooh, Steven has an Ipapa Berry, and it is able to survive the hit. Wait, shit, hang on, my, my thing's freezing. Ah, one second, my thing is frozen. And he, and he uses Slack Off, and he's back to about three quarters. Hang on, I need to reload my fucking... Ah! Uh. Shit. So Steven forfeits <laughs> the match, and we move on to the next round. <laughs> oh, my fucking ping froze. Damn it, man. <laughs> Mr. Bemis. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad I wasted Ktar. Wait, that's that's my, is, my, is my screen still alive, bros? I don't know yeah, what the fuck's happening. Yeah, we can still see the battle. Oh shit, hang on. Oh no, Ireland ran out of internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 give me a second. There we go, there we go. The British Let's are go. coming, the British are coming. Yo, 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 hang on, hang on, that's, that's sensitive, bro. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> Wait, what does that have to do with... With oh, fire. and Davy uses Sword Dance, and Hippolydon uses Earthquake. Isn't Ireland under British reign or something? No, it's not. We don't, don't talk about that. Don't you dare say that. Don't you dare say that. We don't talk about that. You want to go right now, bro? You actually want to go right now, bro? Hey, I mean, oh. we, we Ooh, beat the and Garchomp uses Earthquake and knocks out Hippolydon. In comes Clefable. Well, I the can't say we, because I'm not white, so... And the white people beat the red coat. And David switches out <laughs> for Slow King Galarian, and they, Steven emaxes his Clefable and uses a Max Starfall, which does only a fifth of Slow King's health. Out of all the mods you had, you Dynamax Clefable. Why are you doubting that? And he actually switches into Blissey. What a waste! Nah, don't doubt Steven. And David uses a future sight and then switches into Ferrothorn and Bliss uses teleport. And in comes Cinderace. And Ferrothorn is called me so thorny. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Blissey's name was Hello, Smiley Face. And, uh, was, uh, you guys were going so fast. And uh, Clefairy was Curly Boy. One, yep, one Curly Boy. And it actually is a male Clefable, so thanks for making that possible. Hell yeah, bro. And in comes Primarina for David. No. And his name's Six Ocho. You know what, David? I will lose. Cinderace takes a brutal future sight. It's down low. Instead of Clefable, it's Clefable. Clefable. Sounds like Joe from Family Guy. Clefable. Peter. Let's go. Oh, and in comes Blissey. And David switches to Therathorn. Pro plays. Pro plays. Now, I will say this. Oh, Therathorn puts out a stealth rock and. Heavy duty boots! Even switches to Moltres, the goat. And in comes Loking Galar for David and. Steven uses the fog to get rid of those nasty little rocks. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you have heavy duty boots. Why? Is it because of Cinderace? Maybe. And he uses Scorching Sands, which does a little bit of damage, but does burn Slow King. And Skull takes down a half of Moltres' health. I'd like to take the time to remind you guys that are watching. Sorry. If you live in the DFW area, this podcast is brought to you Ooh. by Joe's Pits. We sell barbecue. Moltres uses a roost, and a l Slow King uses a future sight, switches to Blissey for Steven, and eats a Scald, which does little to nothing because Blissey's a special defense bitch. Hey, and I just want to say, it really is some good-ass barbecue. It's some good-ass barbecue. And in comes Ferrothorn for David and takes a seismic shock. You are so welcome, Joe. And Order the Deacon Chicken Plate. The list is down to half we health. We don't have that. No, no, no. That, no, no, no. He does the cut it out. Ferrothorn uses a leech seed after Blissey gets switched for Moltres. 
I feel like this match will be very strategically placed. In comes Kofable for Steven, and in comes Slow King Galar for David. Well, Morgan better hope it's not very strategic because he's going to break his record of uh, 35 turns. And in comes Blissey for Steven, and in comes a future site for Slow King Galar. Illuminati. Illuminati. Okay, so we've seen almost all the Pokemon except for a few. Uh, and then it comes Ferrothorn, Miso Horn, Thorny. And Sopoil brings up Blissey to full health. Yay. Miso Thorny uses Toxic, and Blissey uses Teleport to bring in the Goat Moltres. And he takes a Future Sight, and that really hurts it. It's down to 13% health. And in comes Slow King Galarian for David, and Moltres uses Roost. You should have went for Toxic. And in comes Blissey. Oh, it's no longer poisoned. Natural cure. And it <laughs> eats a Scald attack like nothing. It's sickening. It really is. That being said... Hey, use people that are smart. And in comes Ferrothorn, who eats a seismic toss and does some good return damage from its rocky helmet. Of course, it means nothing, because I'm sure Blissey will heal from it. And in comes a stealth rock from Miso Thorny. And in comes Moltres from a teleport. I feel like I've said this before. At this point, we just talk about something else, because the same shit that's <laughs> happening... I will say this. <laughs> David knows this, and it's a street. What? <laughs> yes. So I guess I have to stop commenting well, that... because I'm too loud right now. Well, I'll go ahead and take over the commentation. <laughs> Illuminati comes in, the glaring slow cloak, and takes uh, a flamethrower. Damn. She just cut you off. That was ice cold. You better put her to sleep. Dude, I'll do it. With a sleeper <laughs> hold. With a sleeper hold. Come up behind her and fucking choke her out. Right, Strong. Out hello oh. and Papa <laughs> Capin you. Papa Capin you. Switches in. I'm just kidding. Oh, do that. I missed oh, Rock Slide. That's nice. where it's... Rock Slide. Side and talk comes off. If I'm talking funny, it's because I'm pretty buzzed. <laughs> if I'm slurring my words... So far, there's only been one Pokemon from each team that we don't know their nickname yet. Alright, now there's a... There's a dead eye lock on the field. Oh, goes for Earthquake. Takes it pretty well and goes soft-boiled. Ends up with the same health it had and then leftovers puts it over. So, Papa Cap and you, what are you going to do? He switches out to Ferrothorn and me so thorny. Uh, Seismatot goes into it, uh, Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet do some damage to Hello Smiley, but Leftovers puts it back over half, goes for Soft Boiled, Miso Thorny goes for Leech Seed, and now the Teleport is coming. Oh, goes for Gyro Ball, Teleport comes off, Miso Thorny staying in, Moltres coming in, the GOAT. And of course, we have a switch to Slowpoke Galarian. Slow King Galarian. Yeah, I pretty much have to. <laughs> <laughs> Slow King Galarian goes in. Uh, Defog from the Goat goes off. Guys, I didn't know we were going for the 100 turns again. <laughs> I'm not trying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Moltres switches out to Blissey, goes for the Scald. You should have predicted that and switched out to Garchomp. Um, Shut up, dude. <laughs> Come, on, Come on, man. Come on, man. this man right now? Come That's on, crazy, man. dude. Alright, so it's Illuminati versus Hello again. I'm going to be calling out all <laughs> your moves next in our battle. Red I'm just going to be like... In, teleport comes off. Moltres comes in. <laughs> Welcome to my games, those. bro. Him so much. Primarina Who's comes in. 6-0 in, Joe. All right, flamethrower comes off, does some pretty decent damage, but leftovers restores half of that damage. The Go ahead, call it, call it, call it. Six O Joe is yes, my name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. Substitute of the Six O Joe comes in uh, right in front of my name, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, my name's Jeff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My name's Jeff. 
and Primarina is setting up some combine, and Hayes goes off for My Name is Jeff. Come on, David. You know better oh, than that. Oh, boy. Steven is prepared for anything. Hyper Voice comes off. Critical hit, but only does about 24%. Skull comes off. Does not break the sub. My Name Gif is sitting pretty. My Name Gif. They're both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six O Joe again goes to yep. the voice. Name it Gif. <laughs> Does decent damage, but uh, my name Gif goes for the haze. And... Name it Gif. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna have to watch uh, 21, 22 Jump Street later. All right, Six O Joe goes for the combine as the Toxic Tech switches out. Hello is here and he is combining up on that thing. Soft Filed is going off. <laughs> and both Pokemon are at 100%. Six O Joe continues to the combine. And Seismic Top comes off from Hello. Alright. And the, susp the substitute is finally broken due to the Seismic Talks. And again, the Seismic Talk breaks the sub. Man, they're heating up in this battle. Hyper Voice comes off. Jesus. Does about 35%, 45%. Seismic Talk comes off. Predicting the sub, but it didn't happen. So substitute comes off now. Teleport. All right, Toxipet comes in, and let's see if the haze comes off. If Primarina can't knock this thing out, it's not gonna knock it out. It's gonna Hyper do a little chunk. Takes it down to 59 cent, 59 percent. Insane. And uh, what the haze fuck? eliminates its plus three calm mines. Um, Primarina 6L Joe goes for the hyper. Voice again. Hello takes some damage, but it's still way over half. And they officially broke Morgan and Sewer record for most turns in a battle a long time ago. They are now. Turn bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. It's turn 50 now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go take a nap. Let me know when it's done. <laughs> oh is... god, shit! You guys are five and five. I this am is really sorry. Ridiculous. About the. Yes, Polo Loco. Polo Loco is crazy. Versus crazy Pedro. chicken. Crazy. I don't give a damn. It's Polo Loco. Don't translate shit. All right. Boy, oh, man, <laughs> he said don't translate shit. <laughs> I know what it means. They should figure it out. There's Google Translate. I'm white. I'm white. I was just saying it because I know what it means. If, you, if you're if you a white person and you see something in Spanish and you know how to say it, you say it. You no. just do. Ooh. Translate. Oh, one curly boy takes out the Moltres with a Thunderbolt. <laughs> one think, curly boy. I think David knows. A single piece of hair. <laughs> Oh, oh no! He gets knocked out by the flamethrower. One curly boy is on a wreck rampage. Poppy. Oh god. Capping you is gonna take a moon blast here. Uh, that's not good. It looks like David is on the back foot. There's gonna be no six O Joes tonight from him at least. Ooh. Oh, and he actually oh. takes out the one curly boy with an earthquake. He is determined to try to 6 0 Joe tonight. <laughs> click 6, click X comes in. In the race. He is at 12%. Does he go for the sucker punch here? Stop calling the moves, Joe. I... <laughs> He's saying that as if I have sucker punch, by the way. <laughs> well, now sucker now punch, Cinderace. Now we know You're that just going it like you need sucker punch. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Powerball connects and puts Illuminati at one percent with a burn. Well, it was already burned, but still, Click X is in a fine position to just U-turn out. Oh, it goes Powerball again, and Six O Joe takes massive oh damage my God. and also gets burned. If Powerball connects here, David is in very bad position. <laughs> Commentary God right here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the commentary God is I'm here. I'm just saying what I would do. Oh no! The commentary God switches is out here. and goes into Hello, and Six O Joe hello. is sitting behind a burn in the red at 19%. Hello, Colin. Colin XD. Hyper Voice goes off, gets it down to 34%, but Seismic Toss takes out the Hello uh, Six O Joe. Hello. You forgotten the smiley face, bro. <laughs> smiley face. All right, hello, smiley face. Sitting pretty, waiting to see what he's gonna take out next. 
All right, Poppy Cap and you comes out. Can it take out the Hello Smiley Face? Earthquake takes it out, but it's a little too little too late as Click X comes back in. Can it land the move? Click X goes in. Oh my U -turn God! Against Papa Cap and you, and it takes it out. There's no rough skin because it's Mega Evolved, and he goes into the goat. And lastly, but not leastly, Illuminati comes out against the Moltres, and it is burned at 34%. Let's see what Steven decides to do here. Scorching Sand takes it down 13%. Future Sight comes off, but it might be uh, too little too late. It might That's GG. Because it is over here GG's with the Scorching back. Sands. Down goes the Galarian Slowking. And we're 62 finally, uh, turns. We're finally done at 62 turns. Hey man, I've had 500 battle, turn battles in black and white. This is nothing oh, to me. Good God, don't do that here. <laughs> Literally, like, no, no. Okay, can I, can I, can I say the story? Yeah, so, like, I think it. I was playing, I was playing Rainstall back in the day. I had like Polytoad, Ferret, Dark, Gliscor, Tentacruel, mm -hmm. and like some other two bullshit. But anyway, uh, I was fighting. It was Rainstall versus Rainstall, right? This battle went on for like 535 turns. And I was there for about two hours, like playing against um, playing against this guy. It was actually the most like was this boring battle. No, it was on like Wi-Fi in black and white. Like this is like Fuck. fucking ages ago. I thought yeah. There was a sixty-minute timer. No, well, it, I don't think there was back in. I don't think there was back in black and white. I don't think there was a sixty-minute timer. Damn. All right, yeah. Jesse. What is your uh, name here? GS Gold. Alright, guys. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. He sounds like you need to go. You're to like you're downloading and you're not complete. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Uh, it's. I need to go to bed. <clears throat> Who's this? Morgan? I'm here, yeah. Steven, if you win, you can't go to bed. Mm hmm? What's wrong? Winners I'm can't go here. to bed. Oh, fair enough. No, 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 I'm not like going to go to sleep anyway. Today. It's not our fault y'all had a 62 turn battle. Oh. Hey, look, man, okay. <laughs> Alright, now we have Jesse with the Moltres, Clefairy, uh, Ooh, uh, Can I commentate this game? Yeah, go for it, Stuart. So, um, so Joe has uh, a pretty decent core here oh. with uh, Firewater Grass Core actually looks really good. Gastro Pharaoh and uh, Moltres, uh, Aerodactyl and, and Volby. Okay, never mind. Moving on to the next team, <laughs> uh, we have Moltres, <laughs> Slowking, uh, really good defensive core too. Uh, really hard. I think it'll be very hard for Joe to get past the Clef and the Slowking. Um, and he has and Jesse, of course, using my three fucking favorite mods there on the right with Mamoswine, Weeba, and um, Haxorus. So that's an MVP of the not MVP of the Sligo Anacondas, by the way, the Haxorus. So. All I'm gonna say is don't talk shit about Volby. He won me a double championship. Anyways, uh, there's a Volby on the, <laughs> the enemy's team, and uh, it's looking very, very, very unlikely that he's going to um, was past that uh, Clef and Slow King. Oh, I'm joking, but uh. Yeah. Bro, I've used Volby before. That thing is an absolute troll. I fucking love it. Oh, trust uh, me. If it wasn't for Volby, I wouldn't be a double champion right now. Fucking Volby. <laughs> look at this dude. My man's is hopping, dude. Look at fucking him. Fucking Thunder Wave. It, yeah, he's, he's ready. Look at him. He's fucking he's fired hopping, up. He's like... Bro. He's, he's hopping, bro. He's like, oh, you? Fuck him. Ubers? <laughs> nah. Fucking Haxorus? Nothing. Thun hey, just, just no... We got answers for that bitch. It's gonna be some disgusting oh, shit. prankster swagger shit or something, I can tell. He's, All right, he's let's off. get to it. But at a but at a glance, I think Jesse's team is on paper probably better looking because of his tankiness and what he, like his his core his cores are like really good and uh, double ice is really hard to break through, especially if you're running stuff like uh, gas if the gastro. Back. Yeah, but like I mean, if he has um. If he has a, uh, you know, if he's banded, ice could crash. Actually, I forgot about his Cinderar. Actually, never mind. Yeah, you but like, also. From after you said Volby, psych. <laughs> but like, Vol but Volby. like uh, I just the Volby caught me off guard, bro. But like, I think um, looking at the teams from from first glance, like I think Jesse has the has a really good team here. But 
we'll see what Joe has to. We'll see what Joe has to use though. I'll see. I want. I want to see what he's gonna go for. I brought Gold Beat on purpose to throw people off. Did the battle start? I clicked mine. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> what right. steroids? So a really good lead here for Joe. Um, really, really good. Uh, I think I'm, I might have gonna expect that. Oh, nice fake out. Okay, okay. Not choice banded, but okay. All right, that's fine. Um, probably a. I would assume that Joe's set is probably more of a utility. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Fifty-nine percent there. That's pretty dank. Okay. Judging from this though, I think uh, you know Incineroar has got. I think I actually like Incineroar uh, this generation. I think it has a lot of uh, usage in singles. It's actually really, really strong now, especially with Parting Shot. Nice rocks. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I think uh, Sloking this generation really got uh, is really looking uh, well too, especially with heavy duty boots and um, teleport as well. This Pokemon is actually really, really uh, strong to to um to really strong Pokemon, and he goes for Toxic. You gotta get the uh, nicknames in. Come on. Oh shit! So I forgot, dude. Oh my god, Super Honey is out horny. here. Super Honey. Uh, versus Amnesia. I mean, my man's is literally. F I'm actually just actually fun fact. Slowking is not the one that forgets. Slowbro is the one that's stupid. Slowking is actually really intelligent. Just to put that out there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Sends a boy. He thick. Boy, he thick. Is out here right now. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that Slowking oh, is on the Moltres team because in Pokemon 2000. Slow King mm. was the guardian of that yeah, little island correct. Ooh, with his little altar. Yeah. Look at my dude out here with the general knowledge. Okay, Jesse, I see you, buddy. Uh, nice earthquake. Uh, per oh, oof. I'm not fucking Jesse, but okay. <laughs> I hope you're not fucking Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, Jesse. They're they're on to us. <laughs> Oh my Damn. god, this man got so offended. But uh, in comes Naho, and I'm thirsty. He's gonna come back in. Nice tailwind. Okay, okay. Something we've never seen before. Tailwind Ultras. Nice, nice, nice. Um, see, like Joe could literally be up like six three right now, and all he, all that Jesse needs to do is bring in Haxorus and just click buttons, and that's the game. Oh, and here, oh, 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 he's here. He's here, bro. The MVP. Let's go. <laughs> Man, I fucking love Haxor so much. It's such a good Pokemon. Um, that was one of my favorite dragons for a long time. Yeah, he, he still is my favorite dragon. Dragon Claw, okay. Bobby did so much, oh my god! Bro. Bro, that thing just came in for a second and just left the screen. <laughs> <laughs> he just left the fucking game. He's like, alright, bros, I'll see ya. I'm out. <laughs> I, w I was expecting Anyways. a dragon dance there. You're a pterodactyl. You, th you thought! Anyways, it's looking really, really uh, bad for Joe since he's lost his uh, number one Pokemon currently. Uh, staying at the end, start what of the am battle. I? Staying at the start of the battle. What Ooh, am I? Dynamax Haxorus is coming out. Okay, Ozzy okay. Ross. Get fucked. How the fuck is that thing so... faster? Oh, Tailwind. Jeez, I wonder if Tailwind's out. Yeah, Tailwind's up, bro. What are you talking <laughs> about? Dude, my man's not even keeping track of the fucking match. Wow, dude. <laughs> the Tailwind coming in clutch, of course. Base Jesse with the cool assets. Let's go. So he's facing down a Dynamax Haxorus, so that's um, it's pretty scary. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's a big <coughs> ass dragon right now on the field. Comes in what steroids? Coming back out for the. Ooh, okay, okay. The plays, the plays. Go for the Max Knuckle. Okay, go for that Intimidate Switch. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Super Harney's at 9%, getting that. Ooh, nice, nice plus one, okay. So it seems that Jesse's in a really, really good spot right now. Um, it's very hard for him to, uh, it's, it wouldn't be very hard for him to throw this game because he's pretty much in a in a good position. 
comes Incineroar with his steroids looking out for fucking an intimidate drop. Goes for fake out. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Are we gonna expect to switch them? Uh, oh, okay, all right, okay. Interesting switch. Oof. And he goes hurt. down to a dragon That's claw. That's gonna fucking hurt, bro. That's gonna hurt. I think it's really strong, dude. Haxor's out here, proving once again that it's the best dragon type of all time. When he comes out, they're coming in for the switch. I'm gonna go for the fake out. Ooh. Fuck, I lost. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> That's my man's right here. Ooh, he oh, yo, he dipped. He's out here, bro. He gone. He my man just left. He's like, see ya. In comes Haxers again. Let's go. What did he have? Rock Get slide. bopped. Damn. Oh, he's gonna give you the 5-0, <laughs> oh, Joe. And that's the game, bro. That's the game, bro. There's nothing really he can do here. Pink, Pink thing. thing. All right. I don't want to know what that's about. Don't want to know. That's like a like like a dog dick. No, uh, no, no, it's, no, no. It, it's a pink sock. At, at, uh, <laughs> at Six Flags, they sell ice cream called Pink Things. Oh. Well, we've never been to Six Flags, Joe. Well, no, no, my fucking <laughs> is the greatest state in America. All right. Anyways, GG boys, good game. GG. GG's guys. Pink uh, thing. Right. GG's. When you really say pink go. thing, that means dog dick. No, that's Red Rocket. Dumb yeah, that's Red Rocket, man. Yeah, it's Red Rocket. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love how quick okay. they replied back to that too as well. It's like, okay. <laughs> who, All right, guys. who lost? So, so right, Jesse's so got to go? Steven versus Stewart, and Jesse has a bye. Jesse? All right, Stewart. Wait, who? See you guys. I got to go. I'm sorry. All right, David. Who was it? See day. you, David. See you guys. You're See supposed you later, to dude. wait. We got to... Do the other thing, remember? Yeah, he forgot, so you might have to do that like tomorrow or something. Fucking Christ. Alright. We'll this is why we gotta start these a little bit earlier if we can. Well, Steven versus Stewart. There's Stu Dog. Gotta find you, bro. Yo, what's up? Uh, I'm against you, so I need okay. to. It's good timing. I just got my hamsters. Oh. <clears throat> so, Stuart, since you're the you're a manager at a supermarket, how, how do you feel about that show, The Supermarket? I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> I saw it. Was it on Netflix? I think I saw it on Netflix. Advertised. The store. It's called yeah, the, store. the store. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it. it. looked pretty funny, but I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny show. It's it's kind of funny. It's not the greatest, but it's good. <laughs> so Jesse, you work in a tire place. So how about the Fast and Furious movies, huh? What you think about them? No, no one. Can <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, my internet disconnected. I just walked. That's why you can't find me if you're looking for me. Oh shit! All right. Yeah, hold so, on. Jesse, you work at a tire place. You do work at a tire place? Yes, I work in the tire section at uh, BJ's Wholesale Club. Epic what, club, by the way. What's the best tires you would recommend? It just depends on your budget. I mean, that's the best thing about warehouse clubs is usually there's a lot of good deals. And my philosophy is if you don't know anything about tires, at least get a tire brand you've heard of. Don't get what's like a... Again, uh... Stuart? I should be in there now. Yeah, Stu Dog 101. So there you go. Would you recommend Cooper Tires for trucks? Uh, they're a good affordable brand. Um, I like the Michelin Defenders, but that's only if you got a little bit of extra money. Because they're definitely not the cheapest tires, but I think they're the best for trucks. <clears throat> Damn, he just called everyone who doesn't have Michelin Tires for No. <laughs> Michelin Tires cost a lot, so... Bad look. Like Bad look. Uh, I feel like while I'm in a disadvantage but not watching, so that's okay. We'll survive. All right. Oh. So uh, I'm guessing Jesse still can't commentate. So we got. Oh, I can just commentate. Oh, okay. Well, you're, you're I just got to be a little bit quieter. So, all right. So we got Stewart versus Steven. We've already got the lineups already set up. So let's go ahead and get it going.
Uh, Get it going, guys. What do I want to lead off with? Let's go. This should be pretty interesting. And Steven starts off with his Cinderace, and Stuart starts off with his Lycanroc Dusk, Eaton Beaver. <laughs> and Steven switches over to Hippolydon and eats an Acceleroc. It, it tickles him. It tickles Is Mr. Beanus. Beanus still on you? I don't know how you want Tickles Mr. Beanus. I hate when my Beanus gets tickled. Actually, I like it, actually. Never mind. <laughs> don't quote me on that. We you oh, and he switches... Stuart switches to Gyarados and eats a Toxic. Ooh, it's on a timer. And in comes Toxapex. And Stuart's going for it. He's dragon dancing. But it's on a timer. Dicks in the butt. <laughs> such a good nickname, dude. It's so good. <laughs> I think Stalls. Oh, you like that, but you don't like nut rag. Okay. Yeah, but look okay, right? That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story, okay? You, you see All the right. difference is Stuart, Stuart has funny nicknames. You just need to go to therapy, oh. man. Gyarados oh, is dragon dancing again and Mega Evolves. And oh, oh there's a hey. <laughs> that's a killer. I feel like it's a disadvantage. I didn't watch the last game. He's down to half. He's got to try something. Oh, you weren't seeing Queen? And in comes Obstagon, who eats a Scald, gets burned, but it's okay. He was going to get burned anyways. I believe that's French. <laughs> <laughs> and he uses a facade that does good damage, does half, right. but Steven does a recover. He's saying shit wrong on purpose now. I feel like I should just, uh, just fall down while I'm behind. You're the only person I've ever met, Jesse, that says facade. Facade? It's facade. It's facade, not facade. I used to call it a facade, though. <laughs> I was like nine, okay? I didn't know what, what facade And in meant. comes Hupuadon. <laughs> and he uses Switcheroo to get a Flame Orb on it. That's pretty good. He wants to get the Ipoppy Berry. That's pretty good for Obstagon. Well, I can't do anything to it, can I? So that's not so good. I mean, you can facade it. Or facade it. Facade it. <laughs> facade Naders. Let's go. Facade. Facade Nation. Facade Naders. Mommy oh, Milkers. Mr. Venus is in dire need of facade Nader. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where we're going now. Oh, and then comes Loke Ingalar. And Hippolydon uses a slack off. I never anticipated it. Guys, help stole, us if we ever get Mill Tank. Because every one of you sick fucks are going to call it Mommy Milkers. It's okay, that's Jim. Yeah. We still got like a whole year. Mommy before. Milkers. Hippolydon puts out South Rock. And <laughs> we got an Earthquake. Burned Oops. Earthquake, so did a lot of fucking damage. And I accidentally clicked out. Oh, it does. It's down to half. Half or both of them. Uh, yeah. Huh. Suck his mummy milkers for help. Oh, there comes Obstagon back out and a slack off to bring Hippolydon near to full health. Ooh. But it does take a future sight, which brings it back down pretty much to half again. Mr. Venus took a hat attack from the future. <laughs> Yo, oh, you Mr. Your Beaner. Hey, it's your nickname. You, sh you shouldn't. I know, it's, it's great. I, I love it. In comes Dixon Butts. And Earthquake is going to take it down just a little bit more. What are you doing, Stuart? Well, I've got nothing I can do. I'm, I didn't bring a team to face Storm, so. Facade! Yeah. I think it would have knocked no. it out. 
No. And then comes Toxapex really and eats a waterfall. Oh, I should have earthquake. I knew it. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> Life's a bit, and then you meet one. Well, Jesse, I hope you're ready to face stall. <laughs> <laughs> you better fix your it's team. Balance. It comes it's in stall. It's stall. Oh, it's it's stall. Fuck it! Came from Fable with three attacks, soft boil. What are you talking about? It's Cinderace right there. <laughs> it's stall. What's that, dude? I see how it is. I see how it is. It's called. Yeah, it's balance. What are you talking about? Man, you remind me of that guy who used to be in our group a long Paul. time ago. His Paul. And he would have toxic on every mon. Oh, and, and that's really, a big earthquake. He would have toxic and bulky mines. And, and that's a like, good scald, and it gets burnt. Oh, of course, yeah, man. of course. He would be like, I'm oh. not toxic stalling. I'm just toxicing your Pokemon and restoring health. Dude, <laughs> it's toxic stall. <laughs> well, yeah, that is toxic stall, though. But, bro, it's not stall. I have a Cinderace on my team. How is my team stall? You have two attackers. The rest are defensive. Uh, he's got three. I wouldn't classify Clefairy as an attacker. Yo, Clefable is actually a really good fucking special Cle attacker. Dude. Yeah, Clefable can be an attacker. Really good special attacker, and people just don't fucking... People underestimate that. Ooh. Ooh, and yeah. that's a big stone edge. That was a Chalkinator hit there, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But a Flamethrower takes out Mamoswine. Stuart's down, two wands. And in comes Obstagoon. At least that a Papa Berry. No, he switched Ow. it. Oh, oh he switched Rude in. Yeah, yeah. That's smart. Now, do you know why Switch Rude didn't work on Tyranitar in the previous match? Yeah. Oh shit, I meant to click. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong. Oh, oh you didn't click X. Hello, you love. Dead. Maltrus is out, but Blissey's in. And, uh, yeah. Facade's gonna fuck its life up. I don't reckon. It has no defenses. Especially defensive. In another news, water is wet and the sky is blue. In comes Toxapex and is barely able to take a facade. A facade deed. <laughs> a facade naders. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Say it right, you don't say it at all. And a knockoff Nike South Text Effects. This is getting interesting. It's 4 4 now. And in comes Cinderace. I bet you he's going to use Toxic. Toxic Cinderace? Now that's fucking water right there. Hey, I've used Toxic Charger <laughs> before. And in comes Moltres, the Clitoris, who eats a, a, a Pyro Ball but still takes it down to half almost with the crit. And in comes Blissey. Hello, smile. And Moltres uses Roost. And in comes Low King Galar for Stuart. And it eats a seismic toss, which knocks it down to just above a third of health. And he uses another seismic toss. And he sets up a future sight attack. And in comes Moltres for Stuart. And another seismic toss. And a flame body burns Blissey. And he uses Defog to get rid of the rocks on his side. And Blissey uses another seismic toss. And takes the future sight which tickles it. And Moltres uses Roost and another seismic toss from Blissey. Also, thank you for not picking Chansey. Yo, I, I mean, man. is it really bad <coughs> or worse? And in comes Obstagoon. And it takes a seismic toss and it's getting low. Getting down low, 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 low. Blissey has a better haircut, clearly. Mm -hmm. Blissey got the waves, bro. Yeah. Blissey be bopping. I think y'all are furries. 
And in comes the Paladon. And with its dying breath, Ooh. it'll do a close combat and knock it out. Nice. But the burn nice, will kill Obstagoon. We're down three to three. Stu, Stu, Stu. Yo, 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 yo. Dude, is he going to get another lucky Accelerock? In comes the low King Galarian for Stuart and Cinderace for Steven. And in comes Moltres. And he eats another oh. Pyroball. It's down to a third of its health. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's touch and go, eh? I don't think I'll live another Ooh. one. Ooh. What is going to happen? It's a roll. A dirty roll. Dirty roll. Oh, and it oh, uses Pyroball and knocks out Moltres. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really Critical sorry. Hit. That crit was so gross, dude. I'm sorry. And it comes Lycanroc. It all comes yeah. down to this. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, an Accelerac on a oh. Cinderace. It takes it out! It takes it out! But now, and in comes Clefable. If Clefable can't take out this Lycan Rock, this may very well be the match. He is getting a very stiff battle at 2 and 2. Dynamax Lycan Rock! Ooh, Ooh, and that takes oh, it down really to 3%. Boy. Oh shit! But I do not think it matters. He said shit. <laughs> oh shit! I think he forgot about Dynamax. They keep Dynamax with the Mega. What? Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. Oh fuck. Well, GG boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Oops. And Clefable's out, and the only one left is Blissey, which. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yes. Come on, that Max Knuckle busy. Oh wow, it actually ate a Max Knuckle. Oh, and it gives off a Max Knuckle of its own, but it does nothing. It does six damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Oh man. And then comes Damn, the close dude. combat, and that's uh, it. Stuart brought it back! Nice Stuart brought it back! Stuart brought it back! There is not going to be any stall in the finals. Good job, Steve. Oh, you I didn't see all didn't of my you... team, though. Oh, no, we're about to. Uh, I actually didn't Dynamax it. Did, I didn't know you could Dynamax with Megas. Oops. <laughs> I did it round one. Oh, did you? I also uh, did it. Yeah. Oh, damn. Um, so it's Stu and, Stu and Jesse, Jesse, in the finals. Jesse in the finals. Yes, let's do this. All right, let's. Oh. I'm actually going to go to bed because I'm fucking wrecked. All right, and lastly but not leastly, we have the finals here versus Stuart and Jesse. Jesse had the bye last round, and Stuart was able to come back against Steven Redden and his bulky ass team. So here we go with the final battle. All right, let's do this. Clefable and. Galarian Slow King comes out. So Nightmare versus Buster Cherry. I got a Hexorus. Oh dear. Let's see what. Oh happens. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you didn't see what happened last time, huh? Oh no, he didn't. Hexorus fucked me up. Oh, Buster Cherry stays in. And goes for the Sludge Bomb. Gets cold blooded under half, which is the Weavile. Hmm. Now we wait to see what happens next. No, I put the wrong button. I'm dead. Oh, cold blooded knocks out that Galarian Slow King with a knockoff. So Buster Cherry got his own cherry busted on that one. Well, the worst misclick I've ever done. That sucks. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. My own fault. All right, Eaton Beaver comes in, which is the Lycan Rock against the Weavile. <coughs> and we are fucking here. Slow King comes in, Amnesia. And. What's his name? What was it? Eaton Beaver switches out to Dixon Butts. 
And Gyarados is facing off and it goes for the Dragon Dance. Amnesia is toxicing the Dixon butt. But let's see what happens here. It does have a Dragon Dance off. It's on a timer, but it is set up somewhat. Dixon butt goes ahead and Megas evolves and goes for the crunch oh. and takes out Amnesia. Oh. So both Slow Kings are out. Cantonian and Galarian. And it is a 5v5 from here on out. Weavile comes back in. So cold blooded is facing off against the Dixon, but that is boosted and toxic. And cold blooded is sitting at forty eight percent here. He's busting me. I think I'm busted, to be honest. Unless he's scarfed, but why would you be a scarfed weaver? That doesn't make sense. Oh, and cold blooded goes for the fake out, getting off some extra toxic damage off. But Dixon but so should be faster here with the one plus speed. Let's see how this turn turns out. And he switches out to Fable here and he goes with a waterfall. Nightmare is sitting at 8%. And Dixon Butt was hurt a lot by that poison on that turn. I think the next turn takes it out. Let's see what Nightmare does here. It's sitting at 8%, and I'm sure it doesn't want to be knocked out just yet. Is he going to protect? Does, is he that bollocks sort of the fable that protects and shit? Oh, so many know. questions, I only honestly, one answer. Honestly, do not know. I didn't get that far. Lil Snami is texting BBV in the chat. I don't know who the fuck that is. Lil Snami. <laughs> Gyarados switches out and Nightmare goes soft boiled. Oh, Moonlight, sorry. Eating Beaver is in versus this Cofable. Let's see what it decides to go for here. Stone Edge takes out the Nightmare and it connects. Eating Beaver gets some life orb damage, bringing it out to 91%. But it is now a 5v4. Stewart is risking it for the biscuit here. He wants to win his second week in a row. Risking right. it for the biscuit. <laughs> risking it for the biscuit. Cold blooded comebacks in at 48%. Still eating beaver sitting at 91%. Is it going to take a fake out or will Excel Rock knock it out? We will find out here. Who's this little snommy? They can piss off. I have no idea who little snommy is, but they are fucking spamming letters in the chat. I think they have his, that person has their own uh, language they're talking. Oh in boy, town, he yeah. dick comes in, and also oh. Lichen Rock switches out for Cletorus. So it is a Moltres versus a Mammoth Swine here. And someone tell little Tsunami to piss off. I like that. Yeah, him. I'm still. In, I'm, he... I'm appropriating y'all's culture by taking it. He's gonna max rock for me. I can smell it. I smell it. You can smell it. You know it's a thick boy. It's a thick fat boy because he that boy thick. <laughs> Lichen Rock comes in and Stone Edge comes off, but Eaton Beaver is eating it. And it is at 33%. Can't Eaton Beaver take out Boy He Thick, or is it going to fall to a nice shard? Excel Rock oh, does some damage, but not takes it out. And Ice Shard finishes it off. Lucky I did do some damage though, otherwise that would have been a bad time. So Boy He Thick is sitting there and Gyarados comes in. It is a dark water type. Let's see if Ice Shard will take this thing out. For sure, if it lives, it probably takes this thing out with the Waterfall. Ice Shard does not do the damage it needs to and Waterfall comes off. And Dixon Butt seems to live the Toxic at 10%. Wow. It is a 4-3. This janky um, Hexorus is going to be a pain in my ass, I can say it. 
Moltres, Weavile, and Haxorus are sitting on that side. Not ho oh comes in the Moltres against Dixon, but let's see what happens here. He goes for the Tailwind, and Waterfall comes off and knocks out the Not ho oh but Dixon Butt falls to the Toxic, so it is a 3v2. Haxorus comes in, and Moltres, Cletorus versus Godzilla. Let's see what happens here. Come on, fishing. Godzilla <laughs> with the max rock fall takes oh, out Cletorus. Dead McGee. Cletorus has reached climax because it's no longer in battle. And now it is a 2v2. Mamoswine, I need a hand job. Comes in versus the Godzilla. Let's see if the Dynamax comes off. And that is a big old Godzilla versus a big old I need a hand job. Max Warmenheimer comes off and attacks drops, but Max Hellstorm almost takes it out. It's living at 17%. Hell takes out three more percent of that, so it's sitting at 14 percent. It all comes down to this. I need a hand job is sitting at 60 percent, and Godzilla is at 14. But I need a hand job is negative two now, thanks to the Max Warmenheimer. But I need a hand job goes for the Max Quake and boosted special defense. And now Weavile is the only thing that sits in its place. I need a hand job is at 17% minus 2 in attack and cold blooded is here at 48%. I need a hand job's Dynamax goes out because he switches. Bruce DeCock. Ooh. Comes Predicted. In. Damn, you had that. Did I? Yeah, if you just stayed in. Oh boy, Jesse is talking shit. Will <laughs> Jesse win his first championship on his first time out? Oh, triple axle yes. misses! Close yes. combat GG, comes man. And Bruce oh. Tickock takes out the Weavile. I honestly think... Stu two weeks in a row. I honestly think Jesse could have won that if uh, Stu did stayed in. Well, honestly, Stu fucked up. No, if, if uh, Mammoth Swine stayed in, I would have KO'd it, and then he would have came in at full health and killed me. Exactly. So there I, just, I don't really know. I don't know if Flame Orb would activate when I switched in. I don't really know the... Hey, it's a if G I didn't do knock off, yeah, I would have, but yeah. It's a GG either way, and Stu Dog wins for his second week in a row. Steven was our guest, but he lost. So Stu Dog, after next week, what Pokemon do you want to talk about next? Oh, I want to say, I want to say. We have. Charlie. Sorry. I just want to let you know, we have Charizard, Venusaur, Arcanine, Moltres, and Dragonite out of the way. Dragonite y'all haven't seen yet, but it's coming next week. We are going to do Butterfree. No! Ooh, nice. Oh my god, here we go. Butterfree is coming right after the Dragonite. And cool. here we go. Let's see if Stu Dog can win the third week in a row next week. Thanks, guys. What a pleasure that was. Else yeah, those were some good battles, man. Anyone else want to give a good yeah. outro, plug in their shit one more time? Nah, I'm good. More, Morgan Elko. The Morgan. SJ Mills 101. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Stuart. Do it again. SJ Mills 101. Twitter. Hit me out. Right. PML. Hit me out. And I am Samora Gaming on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And also, if you live in the DFW area, Joe's Pits sponsors this podcast so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed sorry for the stall but you know some people like it see you guys what it is. next time